these guys have been using it for 200 million. This is the Amazon's fault of electric fish. It's bigger than we can comprehend. Action lies below the surface. Where strange creatures rule with a mysterious sixth sense. Fish with technological powers. They operate in a battlefield more complicated than we can imagine. with their energy. It's a perfect place for a fish researcher. Each with its own unique electric signal. By creating electric fields around them, they can communicate and navigate in complete darkness. These sounds are actual recordings of the fish, converted into sounds so we can hear them. The most powerful of all is the electric eel. It's not actually an eel, but a giant knife fish. The only fish in the Amazon capable of hunting and killing its prey with electricity. Its whole body is purpose-built to be electric. All of its vital organs are near its head, and the rest of the body is a giant battery. The secret to the eel's electric superpower is two electric organs, the hunter's organ and the main organ. They make the high voltage charges it needs for defense and attack. They are packed with electric cells known as electrocytes, lined up like batteries in a flashlight. When this mega bank of electrocytes discharge at once, a shock is released into the surrounding water, stunning anything within range. In less than a second, this stealth hunter can turn itself into a giant taser. Packing a punch with up to a thousand volts, 80 times the electric voltage of a car battery. This caiman thinks he's in for a meal, but he gets more than he bargained for. High voltage electric shocks cause the caiman's muscles to contract uncontrollably. Paralyzed, he's unable to fight back. Finally, the eel's shock subsides for a second, and the caiman makes a break for it. The electric eel's ingenious design may have aided early inventors in developing the first battery. Today's leading scientists still have a lot to learn from electric fish. There are over 200 known species of electric fish, including the electric eel, and each has a unique electric signature. The smaller knife fish are similar in setup to the eel but not nearly as powerful. They don't use electricity to stun prey, but to navigate and communicate. Like the eel, knife fish create electricity from their electric organ. A signal from the brain opens up microscopic channels, allowing charged atoms and molecules to rush in. Each electrocyte is now charged up like a tiny battery. Their combined forces create an electric field around the fish. Electroreceptors embedded in the skin sense anything that passes through the field. It's like feeling the space around you simultaneously with a thousand fingers. Their characteristic knife shape increases the surface area for these electroreceptors. An undulating anal fin allows the knife fish to swim backwards and even vertically as they scan their environment for prey or predators. Just like an airport scanner can see what's in your pockets and if it's dangerous. This visceral cavity 
is restricted to this area. Stomach, liver, all of its visceral organs are located in this area. The anus of the electric eel is located here, underneath its chin. It needs to dedicate as much of its body as possible to electric organs, distracting oxygen from the air. Essentially, it's a lung. In fact, because electric eels breathe air, we're able to keep them out of the water for very long periods of time. They don't seem to mind at all. Here we go. See this pink folded lining to the entire mouth. Oh, he bit me. And shot me at the same time, I think, but I didn't feel it. The gloves. Certainly for, for the bite. The eel gets 80% of its oxygen by breathing air. Surfacing for a breath every 10 minutes. Remarkable as it is to have a lung in its mouth, it's a delicate structure that could get damaged by spiny prey. So the eel has a hunting strategy that protects it from injury. It relies on stealth. Sensory pits on its skin detect tiny movements of its prey. Using low voltage electric pulses, he senses a fish nearby. With its electro vision, there is nowhere to hide. Experts on electric fish and get some nasty surprises. I just got the full brand of the shark. Eel's shock is strong enough to give Will a fright, but not long enough to heat a cup of coffee. Now that Will has an electric eel and a small electric fish, he has the chance to find out how the two interact with each other. He wants to see what's going on in the water while the electric eel is hunting an electric fish. He waits for nightfall. He's put a small knife. On. As Will listens to the sounds of the hunt, he notices some unusual behavior. It's actually switching signal on and up. Now, for example, he switched up. I have the electrode right near the prey fish, and it's not generating anything right now. As the eel comes close, the prey switches off its electric field. It senses danger and can hide from the eel by going under the radar. Even in the wider surroundings of its natural habitat, the eel has a countermeasure. When prey stops sending out electrical impulses, it's invisible to the eel. 
out by sending out a small double shock. The eel can trigger the prey's nervous system, making it twitch and reveal itself through vibrations in the water. The eel uses its electric powers to remotely control the prey's nervous system, forcing it to give up its position. Ready for an eel takedown. If you thought there was nowhere wild left to explore, think again.